Hello and welcome to Let's Code Games. I wasn't able to create my full video for today, so I decided to make a quick Unity tips video to show you one of my favorite little nugget that I use all the time. So when you create a script that has a lot of public variables, it gets cluttered really fast and sometimes I wish there is an easy method to organize all those variables. Well, there is. Just look at this. This is almost the same script, but the name and the gender is grouped here and it is separated by a line. Then we have all the appearance properties, then we have a stats header here and our stats here and they are grouped together. Then we have a skills header and then we have some space between the combat skills and the crafting skills. So how did we do that? Well. It's pretty easy actually. So this is the crazy script that has just the variables and you can see in the code they're kind of organized but to organize them in the inspector you can use something called the decorated draws. Decorated draws are just simple additions to your variables to create these effects that I showed you earlier. For example this header attribute creates the stats headline in the inspector. The same with the skills header. And then we have the space attribute as well that creates a little bit of space between your variables. You can also see up here that there's a horizontal line attribute and you'll notice that you don't have that. This is because I actually created this myself. You can create your own decorated draws and make them do whatever you want. To do that you first create a class that extends from property attribute. And for my example this is an empty class, but you need a public constructor that matches the name of the class. Then you create an editor script in an editor folder and you make sure it is linked to your attribute. First of all you need to make sure that in this class you're using the unity editor namespace. Then you create your class that extends the decorator draw. And it has two very simple methods. You override get height that basically just tells unity how high your decorator is and you override on GUI to draw what Whatever you want. And finally by declaring this custom property drawer you can link your drawer to your attribute and so it is displayed in the inspector. And that's it. I hope you like this introduction to decorated drawers and I'm looking forward to seeing your tips on Twitter using the hashtag unity tips. Let's make sure that worked and then we we on with the stream for the day. Let's attack the bat here. Yep it works and it drops our, our stuff. Cool.